Hi all, Mass Band Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. I happen to have an old box full of these Koryatsu, Koryatsu um, panel meters. This is uh, the KM66 model. As you can see, it has a blank scale, uh, so that leaves me with uh, yeah a couple of issues. Um, this is uh, a one milliamp DC current meter. So uh, in this video, let's take a look at how to calculate the required uh, shunt uh, resistor for uh, a meter like this. And also it's uh, just a generic calculation, so you can use it for any meter where you know the specifications of the meter itself. And then we also take a look at making custom scales, since we have to make our own on this one. First we can start out by actually having the datasheet for, for this meter. And see, there is no markings on this meter at all, so um, I know absolutely nothing about it on, except what it says on the box. So I know this is a 1 milliamp DC meter. So I found the KM series um, datasheet from uh, Koryutsu here. And as we can see, the DC ammeters and voltmeters, the KM66. If we scroll down to the DC ammeters, we get a approximately an internal resistance, and it is at 1 milliamp, 70 ohm. Now I tried measuring this just with a regular multimeter, and it measures 67 ohm. So if you don't have the, the data sheet, you can actually just measure it to a certain degree of uh, yeah precision. That 67 ohm is also uh, fine enough to calculate the shunt you just have a bit larger error margin. So now that we know the uh, current and the resistance, we can calculate the rest of the um, properties in order to select a shunt resistor. So let's take a look at that. Now to make things easy, I made myself a small um, spreadsheet here and also so I could explain it better to you. Now. I know that this meter is a 1 milliamp DC meter, so that's why I meter up here is entered for 0.001 amps, which is 1 milliamp. The uh, resistance of the meter was 70 ohm. And here I say that a 50 uh, amp shunt is what I needed for my induction heater. So here I can calculate that the required shunt resistance would be 0 0.0014 ohm. Now, if I wanted to take a look at a shunt resistor I had lying around or along with my meters, I have this one which is a perfectly common uh, um, current shunt, which is a 75 millivolt drop across uh, the resistor at 50 amp load. Now if you calculate this with Ohm's law, you get a R shunt value of 0 0.0015 Ohm. Now, as you can see, these two numbers should be the same in order to have a shunt that fits the uh, current rating that you want for the full um, yeah, full scale on your meter. Now, I said this was a 70 meter ohm, so as we can see, if it was actually a 75 um, ohm meter, it would fit the shunt perfectly. And if I use the value that I calc uh, measured with my multimeter, you can see it is 0 0.013. Now that is a pretty yeah, rough estimate. It, it's not very precise anymore when we started dropping uh, two digits, uh, um, not two digits, but two figures on such a low number. So um, let's go back to the 70 ohm internal resistance. And if you happen to want to calculate these yourself, there is uh, of course the two um, mathematic formulas written up here. To make a new scale for the meter, uh, there is uh, two choices that I would like to uh, show you. And the first is um, from Tan Software, which is probably the most famous um, metering. It's just called Meter, the Meter Scale Drawing Program. And just to get an example of uh, what it looks like and what kind of um, yeah labels and prints and it's a very advanced program and you can make all kinds of ridiculously nice uh, panel uh, panel backgrounds as you can see this manual to operate the program and do all these uh, meter 
Yeah, me, me, meter background is uh, 94 pages long. That is why I also want to show you another Scalomatic, which uh, is a website on a Danish um, printing service um, website. And they made these three pretty simple um, postscript calculators or uh, yeah, generators that you can generate some pretty simple uh, scale um, backgrounds. Now I prefer the uh, the bottom here because the, here you can actually specify uh, the radius and points. Just a, a few um, uh, steps, and then there there is the thing with PostScript that it works uh, backwards. So you actually have to put in your numbers backwards. So let's say that I wanted a zero to fifty amp uh, current meter that I'm making here. I will have to write in that the final number is 50. I have six steps and each step should be minus 10. By doing so and also putting in the, uh, yeah, the starting angle and then the degree that the angle moves over, I can uh, then generate, let's see where the PNG button is, it's here, and we can open the file. And we see, yeah, this actually generates a 90 degree um, scale from 0 to 50 amp current. So let's uh, get this printed and see how it fits on the meter. So as you can see here, it wasn't actually too bad at all uh, from a uh, little guesswork, but it does stick out a little bit from the uh, whole surface of the meter. So all I have to do is adjust the minor and major scale a bit, but as you can see the uh, center point and how the needle uh, corresponds to the zero fits perfectly. So I just have to reduce the radius a bit and I can print a perfect label. So I ended up reducing the um, inner and outer radius by 15 uh, points. And as you can see, it is now a nicely fitted um, scale that goes out all out to the edges and the needle does not go up into the numbers, exactly how I wanted it to turn out. So I really like this uh, web, um, yeah, web designer for the scales because it's easy and quick to do and you don't have to read a 94 uh, pages manual, but it is also limited in what kind of scales you can make. It is just for simple line, lines and numbers and then yeah, maybe a single text. So if you want to do really neat and uh, to mimic uh, other old uh, meter panels or backgrounds, you really should uh, use the TAN software Meter and uh, Meter Basic, which is a freeware version for hobbyists. So, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something how to calculate the shunt, how to make new scales and backgrounds. So, until next time, see ya!